Great story from Waltman's book. I'm giving them all away. Joni's in the front. Paul's driving. This is when China and Triple H were together. And Waltman's in the back. And they're just riffing on shit. And Waltman's like, I love how all these fucking guys are such pussies. They have to tell their wives, oh, I go to the fucking strip club for the steak. Paul's driving. He goes, thanks. The, the, mm. Where I used to work, the Cheetah, they got, I mean, I, I haven't been there. Great in steak, fucking, right? Fuck, they had a great menu, great wine menu. Fucking Jack Bragley, uh, that, I don't know if Jack still runs the Cheetah, but that, that fucking the Cheetah. Anybody out there can that's been to the Cheetah lately and has had dinner. Is it still can, there, the Cheetah Club? Yeah. Can we look up the can Cheetah? Can we get a menu? Let's get a menu. No, let's look it up. Let's see. Let's look up the Cheetah. The, the Cheetah. It used to be the Cheetah. Scott and I used to never pass up. We, the deal was if it said lounge, you had to have a drink. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was just, that was a rule. It didn't matter what time either. It was 7 a.m. Fucking, you saw a lounge and it was if you open. Passed, if you're on the road and you passed one, you, you had to you stop. You had to stop and have a, you had to, yes, you had to have a drink. Uh, so that's why we went to Kaz's 8-Ball Lounge. And then I saw it made it on X. And the guy took a picture and said, it's, it's, it's still here. And he said, yeah, right across the street from it. He named the, the building that we wrestled in. And he said, yeah, he says, my brother-in-law or somebody got married there. But I was I was saying that I was telling the people that when were at the wedding, like, I watched Undertaker wrestle here. So. Amazing. Well, if you find that menu, certainly bring it up. Yes. We'll see. I'll tell you what I would have ordered. There is no menu on the website. Ugh. Southeast's most renowned nightclub. Cheetah still, Lounge Atlanta. Still a lounge. Yes. I'm calling it the Cheetah Club. Why am I calling it the club? No. No. They're closed on Sundays. The Cheetah Experience. Oh, this is a full calendar. We're looking at the big April events at the Cheetah. There was a time when I worked there that we had, I think, two or three penthouse pets and a playmate all on on staff there that were our dancers did you just when i were whenever i was in one of the men's uh, establishments i just counted the fucking money ken cash business i just sat there and just imagined the stacks in the back oh with the money the girls the best gimmick ever was when you gave them cheetah bucks and it was one for one one like for one was, with the house? Yeah, they would give you 100 bucks. you give them 100 Maybe it was you gave them 105 back or whatever it was. But it was like, and they were stuck with these cheetah bucks. And, you know, people would buy and they'd have to spend them because you sure as hell ain't going to take them home to, to mama. Right. I remember one time this fucking guy was running his fucking mouth. We'd thrown him out. And uh, he was just sitting there and he just kept saying, you know, I'm a doctor. I make more than fucking one surgery and you fucking make it in a year. And he's going on and on and on. I just reached across to the pocket where you put your kerchief and just ripped that motherfucker down to his waist. <laughs> I said, yeah, go home and explain that, doc. He was just like. More effective than a punch in the face, right? Absolutely. 